Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of fractions and mixed fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. What is a routine problem? Routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? Non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. These are the steps in solving routine problems. First, we should understand the problem. In understanding, read the question twice or thrice, then know what is asked and what is or are the given facts. Second, formulate a plan. In planning, consider the following. Know what is or are the operations to be used and what is the number sentence. The third step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. In solving, show your solution and level the final answer. Lastly, we're going to check or look back. In checking, go back and check the flow of your computation. This is our first problem. Aling Nena has a 15 and 1 half meters long cloth. How many blouses can she make if each blouse uses 1 and 3 fourth meters of cloth? Our first problem is a routine problem. So, we're going to use the first step line. First, we need to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Yes, this problem is asking for the number of blouses she can make if each blouse uses 1 and 3 fourth meters of cloth. Next, we should know what are the given facts. So, what are the given facts in this problem? All right, the given facts are 15 and 1 half meters long of cloth and each blouse uses 1 and 3 fourth meters of cloth. We already understand the problem. So, what is the next step? Yes, the next step is we're going to make a plan. So, what is the operation to be used? What do you think the operation that we're going to use in this problem? Yes, you are right. The operation to be used is division. What is the number sentence? All right. The number sentence is 15 and 1 half divided by 1 and 3 fourth is equal to n. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. 15 and 1 half divided by 1 and 3 fourth. In dividing mixed fraction by another mixed fraction, first we're going to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So, we're going to change first 15 and 1 half. 15 times 2 is equal to 30 plus 1 is equal to 31. Then copy the denominator 2. Next, we're going to change 1 and 3 fourths into an improper fraction. 1 times 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Then copy the denominator 4. Next, we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. So the reciprocal of 7 fourth is 4 over 7. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So 31 times 4 is equal to 124. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. 
Then we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. 124 divided by 14. And the answer is equal to 8. 8 times 14, the answer is equal to 112. 124 minus 112 is equal to 12. We have a remainder of 12. Since the question is, how many blouses can she make if each blouse uses one and three part meters of cloth, then our answer is a whole number. Therefore, she can make eight blouses using one and three part meters of cloth. All right, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, check your answer by repeating the calculation. This is one way to check if your answer is correct. This is our second problem. A tank is three-fourths full of water. When 10 liters of water were taken from it, it became one-half full. What is the total capacity of the tank in liters? Our second problem is a non-routine problem. We use an illustration to help us analyze how we're going to solve the problem. For example, this is a tank. It is said that a tank is three-fourths full of water. When 10 liters of water were taken from it, it became one half full. What is the total capacity of the tank in liters? To solve this problem, we're going to subtract first three fourth and one half. So we're going to use the cross product method to find the difference. So three times two is equal to six minus four times one is equal to four. Over 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 over 8. 2 and 8, they have a common factor, which is equal to 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, 10 liters is equal to 1 fourth. So we're going to divide 10 by 1 fourth. We can put a denominator of 1 to 10. Then let's use a cross multiplication. So 10 times 4 is equal to 40. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 40 over 1 or this is equal to 40. Therefore, the total capacity of the tank is 40 liters. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With that, mathematics may not teach us how to add love and subtract hate, but it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.